Child abuse is defined by law in the state of New Jersey. Specifically, it's the abuse, abandonment, cruelty, or neglect of a child under the age of 18 years old. Child abuse can be broken into four categories, physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, and emotional abuse. Physical abuse is defined as physical injury inflicted upon a child under the age of 18 by other than accidental means that causes or creates the substantial risk of death or other serious injury or impairment. Examples of physical abuse are hitting, punching, kicking, burning, choking, shaking, or otherwise harming a child. Many people wonder where the difference lies between physical abuse and physical discipline and corporal punishment or spanking. Discipline's primary purpose is to correct behavior. Physical discipline becomes abuse when the goal shifts to creating fear and submission. Other key differences between physical discipline and abuse include the severity and frequency of the punishment, the unpredictability of the actions, and a lack of self-control exhibited by the disciplinarian. There are signs that are commonly seen in cases of physical abuse, such as unexplained injuries, burns, especially cigarette burns or immersion burns, broken bones and fractures, the injury location, such as injuries in areas that are hidden from view like the back or back of the legs, or areas that are less common to see standard childhood injury, the shape and pattern of the injuries, which could indicate the use of a tool or implement, such as a belt, hanger, or wire. You might even be able to make out handprints or finger marks, the severity of the injuries, the frequency of the injuries, and injuries in various stages of healing. Sexual abuse is defined as sexual contact or penetration of a child under the age of 18, or the sexual exploitation of a child under the age of 18. Sexual abuse does not have to include a touching offense or physical contact. Examples of sexual abuse include fondling, penetration, oral sex, sodomy, indecent exposure, production of or exposure to pornographic materials, trafficking, and prostitution. Sexual abuse that does not involve physical contact can include indecent exposure, exposing a child to pornography, deliberately exposing a child to a sex act, photographing a child in a sexually explicit manner, and trafficking or prostitution. Sexual abuse can be difficult to identify due to the lack of physical signs, typically present in other types of abuse. Some physical signs that can be seen in cases of sexual abuse include injuries to the genital or anal areas, a child who shows difficulty or discomfort when walking or sitting, the presence of a sexually transmitted disease, pregnancy, age and appropriate knowledge of sexual terminology or behavior, and inappropriate acting out sexually with other children that goes beyond normal development and curiosity. Neglect, the most common form of child abuse, is defined as a failure to provide for a child's basic physical, mental, and or emotional needs. This includes abandonment. Examples of neglect include the failure to provide adequate food, clothing, shelter, education, medical care, and supervision. There are several types of neglect, physical, educational, medical, and emotional. When identifying neglect, signs can include constant hunger and stealing food, a consistent lack of supervision, being left alone for excessive periods of time inappropriate for a child's age, developmental level, and abilities, a lack of medical care or untreated injuries or illness, erratic school attendance or unexplained absences, severe physical and developmental delays, issues with hygiene and appropriate clothing, especially seasonally, placing a child in a situation that will cause harm or injury. Often the neglect is the result of a lack of resources, education or other issues such as mental health problems. Regardless of the reason, if a child's at risk due to neglect, it must still be reported to the appropriate authorities. Emotional abuse is defined as mental or emotional injury that results in an observable or material impairment in a child's growth, development, or psychological functioning. Examples of emotional abuse include extreme forms of punishment, such as isolation, repeated negative behaviors, or verbal assaults directed at a child, exposure to violence, rejection, and isolation. Emotional abuse is typically present with other forms of abuse. Child abuse is a form of trauma. There are several types of trauma a child may face, a parent's illness or death, divorce, bullying. These types of trauma can cause emotional and behavioral symptoms. 
As another form of trauma, child abuse can also lead to similar emotional and behavioral difficulties. When identifying child abuse, it's important to not only look at physical signs, but also pay attention to these emotional and behavioral indicators to form a complete picture of what may be happening to a child. Emotional and behavioral signs of trauma often seen in child abuse victims include withdrawal and a loss of interest in activities, depression, sudden changes in behavior, sudden changes in school performance, sleep disturbances, anxiety and phobias, hypochondria, fear of certain people, age and appropriate sexual knowledge or behavior, delinquency, truancy, and running away, behavior extremes such as a child who is overly compliant or overly aggressive, developmental delays, parentified or regressive behavior such as bedwetting, acting like an infant, or becoming a caretaker of younger siblings, cutting and hurting oneself, substance abuse, suicide attempts, and eating disorders.